shallots, they're like onions, only smaller. Bam! So today I'm showing you how to fillet a round fish. I've chosen to use a gold band snapper for this, but really it applies to any round fish that you like. Massive thank you to Kalis Brothers in Leadable for this incredible fish. Uh, always really, really fantastic. Head in there and check out their, um, their fish market. It's absolutely wonderful. Uh, and I'm, I'm incredibly lucky to be working with this here today. A lot of people, maybe some people, you know, they've been fishing all their life, they know how to do this. For myself, I didn't fill it a fish until I got into a commercial kitchen. So anything that other people may find intimidating to do at home, something that you don't practice, I wanna give you the insider tips on, uh, on how you can tackle these kind of ingredients in your own home. First thing we're gonna do, get a knife. We're gonna cut just behind the wing here, and we're gonna come down between this line and this line here. Okay, straight through there, done. The next thing we're gonna to work to is this point here behind the head, okay? And we're just gonna come in behind the head and cut down to there as well. That's it, done. Next thing is to flip the fish. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So I'm gonna come in here. We wanna to work to the exact same line at the base of the head here, the exact same point. so that we know that we're gonna get all the fillet. You're just gonna twist the head off. And you can see you're leaving nothing behind. Okay, there's no, there's no, that's not fillet, you know what I mean? Because you're never getting there because there's a bone here. The next thing we're gonna do, you see the spine, it runs all the way down to the end here. You always wanna put a little bit of pressure with your hand rolling the fish over, so that as, you're, as you separate right behind this dorsal here, bam, right behind this top, top lot of fins. Long stroke. You can see that that's just bones. There is nothing that we're not gonna leave any meat behind, okay? By rolling the hand forward. And so then we're just gonna follow that along until we get to the spine. We're gonna do the same all the way down. And if we can hear that, You can hear that, that means there's no meat left because you can hear me right up against the spine. I'm gonna cut through here, okay? So that we know that that's all separate. It's completely good there. So now we know that our, the top of our fillet is completely free. The way that I like to do things, just on the other side of this fin here, I'm just gonna come in there, and we're gonna do exactly the same thing here just so you can see see the, the bones just here. That means that we're right up against them. We're not leaving anything behind. Up to the belly. And so now you see the spine there. It's very easy. So what I like to do is to separate up here. So this, this is the rib cage of the fish. Okay, so this is where everything is and the lungs going up and down, that's all inside here. So that's gonna end at about this point. So I just get up to here. And all we're doing is separating the very little bit that was left from on the spine, okay? After this, all that is left to do is we're just gonna come through and with the very with the butt of the knife, with the heel of the knife, we're just gonna separate, okay? And then what we should get is our beautiful fillet of fish. Okay, so for this side, when we have our spine hard up against the board, I like to come in a little bit more at the middle. And the bones are always gonna be the guide. So we're really listening for that. Because if we're on the bones, we can't be digging into the flesh. You can do this with a smaller knife, boning knife, filleting knife, whatever's good. This is just my chef's knife, so I use it. If you had a, um, a flat fish filleting knife, it might be a little bit easier if you're starting out. here 
And then where the rib cage has ended, we'll just go through this way. What you can actually do with this one, that's that's a really good thing to see. Um, once you have it on this side, because the it's fish, it's not it's not like beef or anything. You can just actually pull this away, and it works absolutely fine. And you see that's completely clean on there, completely clean on there, and we have two beautiful fillets of fish. So I'll just show you how to take the rib cage off. This is definitely a terrible knife to show you how to do this with, but that's cool. If anything, it's good to show you with a knife that isn't perfect because then you can see that you can be malleable, adaptable. You just wanna be pushing against the fillet, okay? Because I wanna take obviously as little flesh and as much just bones as humanly possible. So push, like physically push against the fish. Because you can see when I do that, that I'm not leaving anything behind, okay? Push, 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 down, down, down. And all that happens, look how clean that shit is. You can see the back of the bones. So you, you literally can't leave any less than that. Um, and you can see that there's little ridges even in the flesh where the bones were. So that's a really, really good percentage of reclaim on your fish, okay? I'm just gonna trim, just like when we did the chicken butchery, just like with anything, just trim anything that looks unsightly, anything that doesn't look the best. Um, we we'll just square this off here, that's cool. Um, and what we have is an incredibly professional looking fish fillet. Um, trim this just because it's gonna cook differently to the rest. In here a little pin bones. Okay, now you have the option with these, you'll sometimes, you know, this people will either cut these out, so we'll just cut as close to these on either side as we can and remove them, and you'll have a, a fillet that goes like a V shape, or sort of like that. Um, or you can pull them out. So if you just have needle nose pliers, that is the best thing for them. Actual needle nose pliers. Get the ones with a little spring in the middle so they always come back at you, and they're the easiest things to pull those out eyebrow tweezers, or you can just eat it and just, just cook it and pull them out after you eat them. It's at home, you know what I mean? You're not losing any Michelin stars by leaving pin bones in your fish. That's how you fillet a fish. Make sure you stay peeled uh, for the shallot on how to get beautiful, crispy skin, pan fried fish. I'm gonna show you exactly how to stop your fish from sticking, how to get the skin beautiful, and we just want one even uh, piece of creme brulee. Shallots, they're like onions, only smaller.